Nina Sayers is a Caucasian female currently working as a ballerina in New York City Ballet Company. Most of her daily activities consist of improving her performance as a dancer. I had the craziest dream last night. I was dancing the white swan. Nina currently okay. lives with her mom by choice. What's that? What? There are observable health concerns within Nina. She is visibly underweight huh? and has serious scratches, major cuts, bruises, and other wounds on her feet. These wounds can be attributed to her career as a dancer. You must have been by your side all night, showing you off. Oh, Nina. It's just a rash. Oh, just a rash? What are you talking it was about? It a few days ago. It's fine already. Oh, you've been scratching yourself again. No, I have. Mom! You've got this disgusting habit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought you were done with this, Nina. Shrugs. You keep wearing the shrugs. Sit down. Thin. You have the white one and the pink one. And that'll hide it. And then, and then I'll dig out that... It is that thought that color. most of the lesions could be self-inflicted. No However... Nina denies ever abusing herself. It's the role, isn't it? It's all this pressure. I, I knew it'd be too much. I knew it. Ow! Oh, shit. You're right. You're right. You're all right. You lost weight. Take off your shrug, please. Here are some characteristics of paranoid schizophrenia. Nina suffers from both delusion and hallucination. Schizophrenia has a lifetime prevalence rate of about 1%. It may differ greatly from country to country. It is diagnosed disproportionately among the lower class. Half of the people who are diagnosed with schizophrenia were categorized as paranoid. The delusions and hallucinations have made both Nina's work and personal life dysfunctional. She has been late for both rehearsals and has caused a great amount of interpersonal disturbance amongst her co-workers.
Why don't you wake me up? I'm moving out. Sorry. Keep on going. Go get one up. Lily, come on. Look who's decided to grace us with her presence. I need to talk to you. Okay. Now. Ow, ow. Shut up. To treat Nina after a full medical examination. It would be best to immediately start her on a mid-level dosage of an antipsychotic, such as Vesprin. After pharmaceutical treatment begins and an appropriate dosage has been stabilized, it would be best to start Nina and her mother to family therapy. This would educate and help both of them find ways to cope with this disorder, and to help Nina's mother be more tolerant and understanding. Social skill training will also be beneficial to Nina because she seems to have no close friends or any type of social support outside of her mother. Social skill training will also help Nina interact more efficiently with the other people who work at the dance company, lessening interpersonal disturbances caused by her disorder. Causes for schizophrenia include genetic, environmental and physiological factors. The more severe a parent's schizophrenia, the more likely it will be that a child will have schizophrenia. Paranoid schizophrenia does not seem to be as affected by genetics as the other subtypes. Living in an urban environment, a lower social economic status, and a childhood experience of abuse and trauma are some environmental factors which could lead to schizophrenia. There are also some prenatal factors, include prenatal exposure to influenza, malnutrition, and birth complications. For physiological factors, one hypothesis states that excess levels of dopamine causes schizophrenia. Schizophrenics total brain mass are less than average and the ventricles are enlarged. However, paranoid schizophrenics do not show these neuropsychological differences. Must have been pretty humiliating. Get out of my room! See, I'm just I'm worried about the next act. I'm just not sure you're feeling up to it. Stop. Yeah. Please stop. How about I dance the black swan for you? <laughs> Leave me alone! Nina's delusions and hallucinations have been persisting for at least six months. It's my turn! My turn! My turn! It's my turn! During the last two months, her visual and auditory hallucinations have become more frequent. It is also during that time that the torturing delusion of having her role taken from her has become more prominent. Black Swan places in five. person watching this movie will see a reasonably accurate portrayal of the onset of paranoid schizophrenia, especially since Nina is the perfect age range of onset. Of course, the movie over dramatizes a lot of the symptoms that the average schizophrenic would experience, but not to the point that the symptoms were so exaggerated as to make the case that she was the schizophrenic seem invalid. Although symptoms will not occur as rapidly as they do, 
it is plausible. Therefore, Black Swan is a decent portrayal of a person's descent, the paranoid schizophrenia. Hey, you were amazing. Seriously, I know that things got a little messed up between us, but I mean, holy shit, you completely blew me away. Okay, well, I guess um, that's it. So I'll, I'll let you finish. Yeah.